where it's a, it's a lot more than than being a branding agency. We it's to be a branding agency, they typically just like, okay, we've developed your brand and then they, that's it, they're done with you. We see it as being a, a steward. We wanna grow with you and grow as, as we develop the brand. Whether that is we come in and actually start from scratch or you have a, you know, a good existing logo and you might need messaging or wherever. So right now with the city, we're, we're kind of, we're not renaming the city obviously because you don't have cities. Um, or at least our city, but we're going from a logo, we're gonna work on messaging, and then we're gonna be working on um, all the, a lot of the, the, the initial branded material. So signage, uh, letterhead, uh, invoicing, uh, maybe eventually how that works for Parks and Rec, how that works for the fire department. Uh, we started working on a logo for the College Park Golf Course and realized maybe let's hold off on that a little bit, and maybe that should be incorporated into this brand. Um, when you're looking around, one of the things that you'll notice is that we have, um, so some, what we think are good and bad brands, um, and logos and from across the world, from Melbourne, um, Oregon, Wisconsin, uh, Macon, um, and then Egan over there, uh, which is a, about the same size city as College Park, um, and they've done a really good job of kind of how they tie everything together. So how does the how does the golf course brand feel with the uh, with the, the main logo? How does Parks and Rec fit in? How does the police department fit in? How does Main Street Association? How does so they thought of that all at once? So one of the things that we're going to be looking at is that something that we need to be thinking about. Or you know what you'll see here is that you know right now these are kind of a lot of not all of, but some of the city's brands, the fire department, Parks and Rec, we've got Six West, which is the new, um, you know, hopefully gonna be the great new uh, area that's being built over here. You know, the arena and the GICC, all things that are building up the city. Um, how much of that ties together? Those are all things that we're gonna talk about. Um, so that's a little bit about us. Uh, Back to where we were, back to where we were when I realized that I wasn't, <laughs> should introduce myself in the first place. Um, so we've got a lot to offer. What are, you know, so what are those things? Um, you know, we're the fourth largest historic district, you know, thanks to, you know, thanks to the airport, um, forcing, you know, the historic neighborhood to kind of create and, come together and try to save as much of the area as we could. Um, so now we've got that great area. Um, we've got, you know, beautiful park. We've got Jamestown Park, we've got Zub, Brady Center um, is, you know, about to be part of Six West. We'll see how that develops around that, but you've got the, the football stadium, um, the new basketball courts. So we've got all these, we've got two swimming pools, you know, so we've got all these amenities, but not even a lot of people know, I mean, when you talk to people, a lot of them don't even know that we have another swimming pool over, uh, kind of over, over by Old National. Uh, so all these things are, to me, a lot more than being a connection to something else. So one of the things that I'm, you know, so bringing this up, you know, bringing up the global city, all of these things, a lot of those to me are looking at us as like, we're not a destination. We're, I look at those words and I think, oh, you're passing through, you're on your way to the thing. Or you stopped here and then you're going somewhere else. Versus, you know, we are a great city. We've got, a, you know, I am a resident. Um, I should say that also. Um, been here for 12 years. Um, so anyway, so this would be one of the things we're gonna talk about, you know, that I'd you know, like to get some input from. Uh, so, as I said, do you feel like these characteristics best define College Park? Anybody? Raise your hands. No. No? So, Gendry, you, you, you don't think, bro, do you think it, you feel like it, do you think that best represents who we are, saying that we're a global connection? Is 
talking about those. Right. So, but when you say the gateway to Atlanta, does, does that does that not make you like feel like you're exiting us? Like, Leaving. I mean, how is part the gateway to the world or something like that? Right. Right. It is. So, I mean, you know, so you know, you can't get through. You can't get to Atlanta without coming to College Park right, first. Right. So, I mean, we are, you know, we are the connection to really to the South. So, you know, there is that. Um, I, I feel it's restrictive. It's it's not inaccurate in my mind. Um, it's kind of repetitive. If you've got to Global City, Georgia's Global City, Gateway, Gateway, we're a whole lot more than that. Right. We're not the doormat for Atlanta. And I think that may be sort of what you lean toward. Um, right. Like I get the meaning, but is it the best? Is there a better way to say it? So, um, I don't know what it is, but I'm sure there is. <laughs> there's, there's so much more to offer. Are y'all? They have ideas. I'll be quiet. No, no, no. They're going to write down what you're. Yeah, so we're going to write, write down, down what you're. Oh, right. So, Mike, how do you? Um, so you've been here for three years. How does that make you feel? Well, I agree with you. You don't want it to be a pass through. You want it to be its own destination mm -hmm. and its own identity, separate maybe from the airport. Passing through. Passing right. through. I think we want to get away from passing through. It's a place you want to stay for some time. Right. I think, yeah. like you said earlier, I know we have what, very cool hotels here, yeah. hospitality. Um, we've got the brick course. Golf course. Golf course, right? Yeah, then we have all these things now. I mean, we, we have, I think, 8,500 hotel uh, beds in, in, in the, you know, just around this area right here. Um, you know, you've got the gateway. The whole gateway uh, convention area, which is kind of its own self-contained um, element that you know can be starting. You know, I know that they 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 didn't end up getting it, but you know, one they were trying to get the G League to have their um, their league championships there because through COVID they could actually contain them all within that area. But but there's like three thousand hotel rooms right, right there or something like that. Some crazy, you know, large number. I think of more of a destination city than it is leave a city. And that might have something to do with the airline industry. This was where the airlines workers lived at one point in right. time until the 80s. Right. They vacated. So right. And they and now, you know, Eastern <laughs> City and Noonan and yeah. right. Um, <laughs> I've heard that too, Miss Red. I'm not sure. Well, so that was so the destination that was the the destin the, the DMO the, um, or the convention the services bureau. That now that is now so that's tourism. So now that's part of the ATL Airport District. The ATL the destination College Park has now become the ATL Airport District. Right. So. Who is the head of that? Is that Cookie? Cookie. Okay. And that includes, so that includes East Point College Park, the ATL, and, and Union So one of the things that I will say is, so we do a lot of work. So this whole, so to me, I think that's, you know, so I think these are good things. Like <clears throat> um, we are kind of a destination and we are kind of a hospitality hub. And we have been for a long time, whether people don't realize it or not. You know, Spawn Davids has been going gangbusters forever. Um, and people eat there. And so I feel like we are a hospitality industry. Um, so through the ATL Port District, which is the College Park is part of, that's been a big focus and we do a lot of work with that. That is, that's a big focus is, that's kind of who we're becoming. And you're starting to see that more with the restaurants, definitely. Um, and hopefully that now grows to some more retail um, next to you and along. So that's, you know, because eventually it's kind of like, well, I'm going to eat while I'm waiting in line. Oh, I could go into the shop and I can, you know, look at dresses or I can, maybe there's some pottery or whatever it is, bicycle shop maybe someday. You know, those are all the things that, you know, hopefully coming. Um, what about um, still trying to shape the reputation of the what 10 years ago, we're the most dangerous city in the country. That's still here's the thing 
I grew up, okay, my whole life, and all these relatives, and left when I was 18, and I came back, I don't know, a dozen years ago. Mm -hmm. um, within a month, I was verbalized, and I was furious, you know. It's different now. I know it's, you know, I've never felt unsafe. But College Park was still, as I, I used to work a lot, because uh, my whole thing when someone that I know or a stranger, uh, are you playing? No. So security. No. Yeah. Um, Perception. You shot? Well, thank God Atlanta's taking that over, so nobody's looking at us. But, you know, it's it's unfair, but it's not. I was... Uh, I would love, and, and, and it's been tried so much and so many times. I would just love to see College Park get some respect. That's the only thing. We're not a dirty, uncaring city. We have the most active community. Um, it, it, racial issues are not, a, we have personality issues. We don't have racial issues that I see. Um, I mean, I'm sure so, but sure. that's not our problem. Our problem is that we have so many people that need so much, and we have such a loving community, and we really tried. Look at what Jamel started, the Ignite thing. Um, look at the churches. Look at what the Methodist church is doing. We're always reaching out. Community is probably a word. I think right. community it's one is probably what you're hitting on. Right. And, mm -hmm. and it, that's not recognized in it. Right, so community to us is a lot more like, like we are a very diverse community. It's a very loving um, and caring Right, community. And, and we always, and, and strangers we, don't and be just other. by the nature of, of, of the city we have. And we do have so perception. Um, and, you know, when you look at the stats, it's really, it's petty crime. But it's petty crime because when you talk to the police chief or really anybody and look at the stats, it's because we have what, um, an extra 200,000 people a day come into College Park. Um, that just brings petty crime. So, yes, yeah, so, you know, when I was one of them that was completely, my, my head gasket blew when, when, I think it was Curb came out with that. Uh, yeah, well. The 10 most, most dangerous it cities. Was, in, right. and it's, but then it's replicated. Everything's right. Right, because then it's, so it's, it's perception. So how do we, you know, so the, one of the logos, you know, so the logo itself and how we talk about ourselves, that helps change that perception. So the messaging that we're presenting, so that pitch I was saying. Or even visibility um, of what we do. Right, the visibility, showing things, you know, a lot of things. And it's and it's also, um, you know, there's some things that are, you know, out of our control that we can't, you know, get into yeah. you know, today. But there's a lot of little things like. You know, a lot of crime that happens, they say, you know, over and over, over by Old National isn't necessarily in College Park. It could be Fayetteville or it could be unincorporated Clayton County. But, but they just, yeah. but they, they just say it's College Park because that's just the way we do. So, Sorry, so, I to talk uh, <laughs> so security, I think whatever we do needs, I would, in my opinion, needs to have some aspect to some degree. I don't think that we want that to or we should, I should say we should look into that. And that's maybe one of the things that we start to kind of, uh, and that could be done in a variety of ways. It doesn't necessarily need to be, you know, it could be just more in the tone of the, of the, of the colors we're showing or- uh, Feel of it. Right, right. feel of it. Right. Show, <laughs> for what it really is, as opposed to what it is. Yeah. Do you think that somewhere in the gradient That or the date we were talking about. No, no, no. I'm just saying that you're saying the same thing. Yeah. So that brings me. So thank you. You're now kind of. So here's some words. And actually, one of the things after I looked at this, I was like, oh, got the story. Um, so that would be one of the words. So here's some of the words. Like, how do these words make you feel? So we've already kind of talked about that global connecting, the gateway, safe. We were talking about that, diverse, revitalized. Is that um, and, and, and vibrant. 
I mean, to I like me, vibrant. I feel like we're kind of a vibrant city. I mean, yeah. and we kind of have been. Do any of those words kind of stand out more than you, or? Um, yeah, and I think revitalize. The problem with safe is it's like we're safe. Right. You know, we're not dangerous. <laughs> and and every time I see the word diverse, it's usually somebody trying to tiptoe around a racial issue. Sure. Uh, so I'm kind of tired of that. We are what we are, That's and this is doing. these are our friends. These are this is our city. I don't know. I don't know anybody that is a resident here that really, really hates, except maybe one person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, not well, giving names. So no. I promised that this was not going to become no, a no, person wreck. No, 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 no. We said that early. <laughs> no, no. I'm just saying that everybody who lives here seems that I encounter strangers and they love it. They find a reason that it's their city. And as I said, I'm, I'm tired of it being looked on as a doormat. So whatever you can do, why do you vitalize the vibrant? I like vibrant. I like vibrant. So, so how about you? Huh? Real Southern hospitality. Yes. Well, then if you say Southern hospitality, somebody might go, wait a minute. Yeah. You know, community, I think, is probably more of that <laughs> yeah. idea. But I see where you're going. <clears throat> Hmm? You still do bougie upscale. 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 No, I think that's a good word. Sure. So, um, so historic, we had said that. So I think, you know, I, that's just too, I mean, it's, it's, we, it's an old city. We've been around a long time. And I think, you know, with having the fourth largest historic district, but we got to be careful that I know that in the past that that has also, that, that does make some of this, if some people within the city feel like that divides the city. If you say historic, they always feel like that. We're just talking oh, about cool. historic district yeah. versus, but that's not really true because the whole the, the whole community is historic and has been. It just happens to be that that is the that happens to have the light. Yeah. So, in my opinion, I think we need to be careful of that word, but at the same time, I think that we can that we should think about portraying that. Would be one of the studies that we look at. Let's look at. How about any any other words anybody can think of? Well, it's kind of a modern word for caring. <laughs> I mean, sure. it's a caring community. It really is. I mean, you've said that. I mean, you basically have said that like you know, in, a, in a different way is like four or five times. Okay, I'm sorry. That's fine. No, but, that, but that's <laughs> but but, I mean, no, but that's exactly kind of what you're saying. It's it, it just is. It if you wanna be friends with somebody, it's not that hard. It's embracing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow, maybe. Um, so warm is good, we'll get into colors. So. I was gonna say, how does warm and revitalize work with <laughs> um, opposite ends of the color scheme? Somehow, without it being <clears throat> uh, hurting anybody's feelings, okay? We need to add the Woodward Academy has been here since like the 1900s and is it's really one of the things that keeps the city going because that's you got to have enough money to pay for the tuition okay um right but that's supports, also you know. I, I, I mean it supports a lot of stuff in, in the city so that would be more education yes so the, yes the educational yes. components and then like the um the which goes back to school, the, the actual like, name of the city yeah exactly it, it's just there's so much more than somebody riding Marta to get to the airport and jump it off and mm -hmm. don't stop there. You right. know, so we, it's, not it's a just not like that. Um, we, it's just so Mike, what, any any words to you? To kind of jump out to kind of make you feel you been you know as a newer right. resident. You know, for some reason, I always think like tree line. I think about the trees, about the greenery, sure. and the gardens, and how uh -huh. people's yards. I think that's, that's right. I mean, we do have, I mean, big yards. Um, I mean, compared to, yeah. to Atlanta. To me, it's like a very walking city with the, the, the sidewalks and the trees. And, you know, I think it's very walkable. It's very, people are out. Walkable is good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you know, Cops College 
was the reason that <laughs> those on the those trees by the railroad and the trees in the old outside where we are now, because it was it was laid out and pretty much still maintained by um, either William Cox or his brother. I can't remember remember which one was the agricultural land, but we do. We have a beautiful, that's a wonderful thing. We have all these gorgeous. Right, big trees. trees. Yeah. We have I don't know, that, that tree on rugby by, by the brake pad. Yeah. yeah. That is just massive. I have tried to get um, them to come and, and register that tree and they, they just, they don't believe me. I'm like, you should at least just come look at it. It's, Who would register it? It's, um, so it's, uh, what is it? I can't think of the Come the, the, the name right now, but there's in Atlanta. There's well, I know there's trees Atlanta, but they wouldn't. Well, no, there's there's so there's, there's a registry like like um, East Point at Conley Nature Preserve actually has a couple trees that are that. within it. Um, and I'm like, this tree has to be, and unfortunately, its sister tree just fell three or four years ago. Yeah, uh, but so yeah, so tree. trees. I mean, How about we, a tree in front of City Hall. Is a tree. It's beautiful, yeah. and then I think they actually just <laughs> one fell. They just cut one down. It was dead. We, we, it was uh, right so, but anyway, but but we have <laughs> that. Question. So we've got a, a you know a great tree canopy. I think that's I think that's great. It's walkability. Uh, right. Any other words before we kind of? I think that's a good. Oh. Okay. Progressive. Progressive. Okay. All right. Thank Excellent. You. Thank you. Online. Any others, Christina, from online? Arts, good. Did you yeah. say arts? Arts, Art. which I know would near yeah. near to you. <laughs> yes, we'll be there. With, I'm right with you. <laughs> well, you know, that's what's going on at the church over there at the Methodist Church. We sold we sold a chunk of it. I don't know if you know this, but it's we are making it live, work, play, not live, work, but live, work. And we have artists that are Great. there now, and it's just it's just growing and growing, and there will be built some affordable housing. Now that's not uh, subsidized housing. That is housing for people that don't make seventy and eighty and ninety thousand a year. This year, you know, and that's that's a done deal. So and the city was very very involved in that. Um, what's his name? And, um, Artie, I was going to call him Andy. Artie was very involved in that too. Um, all right, so we've kind of talked about this a little bit. So, in your experience, how is the reality of College Park different in the way that it's viewed from outside? So, people, we've kind of talked about this a little bit. So, I mean, I don't know how much we, I think we've hit this topic. Pretty good, which is good. I mean, I guess I'm guessing what we'd be talking about. I, I can mention something people don't realize. They they don't know what we have in College Park. I didn't know this was there. I didn't right. know yeah. this was there. I think, I think it's, it's more communication or advertisement or something. I think it's really funny when people are driving down Virginia Avenue. And you can see them the minute they go under the tunnel mm -hmm. and they come in to the neighborhood and they're like, oh, like they've never realized it's here. Or they see downtown for the first time, especially now late. Uh -oh. So I, again, so it's a perception problem. Um, I met some people up in, let's just say it's in North County, and my daughter was with their, you know, it was there for, a, and I was talking to these two women who just assumed I was from this place. Um, <laughs> and, and I said, no, I'm not. And I said, I live in College Park. And they both kind of, they gave me what I call stink face. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, have you ever been to College Park? And best, they had, but they have this perception. So again, a perception thing. It's so best kept out. secret is what is where it is. Um, so, so with that, I mean, so what are the challenges? I mean, so we've kind of, I mean, we've talked about this a little bit too. Do you have some? Right, so we were just talking about, so Ginger brought that up too. So basically saying that we're being blamed. Oh, yeah. So, you know, problems that are happening, whether it's city of South Fulton, unincorporated Clayton County, unincorporated you know, Fulton County, whatever, that it always seems to be like, they just, 
default to college ball. Uh, so how do we, you know, but that's, again, those are things that I don't necessarily think that we could change today, but those are things that we can, as we talk about it, we can help change that the perception. Uh, so, how, so I think this kind of goes along with the words we were just talking about. So how would you like the people to think about college ball? And I think we've kind of hit a lot of those, you know, progressive arts, caring, uh, revitalized, upscale. We're not a doormat. I mean, I think those are all things that we've been trying to get people to you know, uh, think about. Uh, all right, so colors. So, so mentioned warm earlier. So right now the current logo is basically burgundy and gold. And then depending upon which logo you see, sometimes it's green and gold. <laughs> um, it's, it's gold. So, you know, which is just, a, which is fine. That's just a more traditional color. And again, so I encourage everybody to kind of look around and, and see what others have done. And, and I think there are good examples of more traditional colors. But based off of what we've been talking today, does that, you know, I've heard vibrant, I've heard warm, I've heard, you know, upscale. Do we feel like, so what kind of colors are we talking about? Um, I think actually, I'm just going to skip ahead. Well, actually, I've got a back. So let's just go through these real quick. So you can kind of see these. So you've got, so here's kind of some city seal logos. Um, <laughs> Across the top, so across the top here, are ones that we think actually not bad. And across the bottom, ones are like ah, really like Camden's in here, like blending colors. And then it looks like it's a a, a wave eating a sun. But the colors themselves kind of cause some friction itself. You know, it's like this this purplish color with this orange that try to blend together doesn't work very well. Um, but then I think you know the Winooski one there, you know. That, that blue and that green works pretty well together. Um, the Riverton, Wyoming one, while that's a pretty simple logo, those colors, Which one is that? the one here on the, the next to the, the city that matters. Okay. Okay. Um, it kind of, you know, it, it, it's, it's contrasting, it gives you a feeling. Uh, the Clyde, Texas one here on the far right, uh, it, you know, it's very muted, but it also gives you kind of this his, historic feel to it. So that kind of, some words that we were talking about. Uh, and then here's some non-sealed logo examples. Uh, ones that we think are pretty good across the top and ones we think are, eh, you know, not that great across the bottom for varying reasons. Uh, you know, Gathersburg, I guess they're saying that they are tree line, but is that the best way to do it? You know, talking about trees. Uh, Spokane, you know, so when you think about a logo, how does a logo also work within a lot of different refinements? So on a website, on a car, um, you know, it, it, it has to go in a lot of different places. So you got to think of how that placement works. So can that be, you know, so they end up having to chop that off right now. But then the colors themselves are kind of, they're cool, which, you know, it is Washington. Uh, this, to me, that feels like it's going to be raining. That's a very uh, right, but it's not. <laughs> Spokane is more desert. Um, you know, the Gatlinburg, I'm with you. It's, it's simple and it's appealing colors. It doesn't soft your eyes. Right. If I had to choose one up there. I mean, the color of screams is fine, but it's kind of boring. Sure, yeah. Uh, but the blues and the greens get there a little bit soft. You see the cases for what they've done is put a G and try to turn this guts right, it. Right, they just did some reverse. That's good. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to get it. We'll go back to that. So here's kind of, I just want to, you know, so here's some colors. Let's, let's talk about some colors. And I've got them over here again. And then we've got some flyers for you all to look at. Now we're not saying that these, I don't want you to think that these are the colors that I want you to choose. These are just meant to kind of inspire and think of a direction. Um, so we've got, you know, the existing, minus the existing 
those are the colors, so those that's what they are. Um, right here across the current downtown colors, those are actually what we started using for tourism when we were talking about College Park. And basically what we did is we took that burgundy and we made it a little more, we kind of popped it a little bit. We took the gold, we made it a little more vibrant. And then we added a few more complementary colors to it. Um, and then we've got some cool samples there. Again, you know, maybe it's blue isn't your favorite color, but it could be some other cooler color that, you know. Uh, but we've heard, you know, vibrant, warm, we've been hearing. So maybe that's not the best representation of California. Um, you know, we've got warm and earth tones uh, can be kind of similar, but then they can also be a little bit different. You know, this playful one is also going to be very warm. You know, so one of the things we kind of wanted to get from you all is kind of your thoughts on what colors do you think? I mean, I should say colors because then we start getting into, but what kind of tone of colors do you think? Are you thinking, you know, playful? Um, and again, as you look around, um, Uh, so playful colors, you know, city of Melbourne is very bright and vivid uh, versus Porto, which is a European, um, it's, it's purple, very simple and clean. Uh, Lincoln City is in Oregon, um, apparently they've got uh, uh, octopus there, so, um, <laughs> but I mean, it's a clever, it's a clever logo, they figure out how to make it, you know, the Lincoln City that things work, but it's, you know, they're using a, uh, kind of a cooler color with a little bit more of a vivid color. Uh, Blue Claire here is using kind of a combination of a lot. Um, what, what was, the, what was that one? Blue Claire, Wisconsin. So what is the color scheme on that? What'd you say that was? So, well, this one's just, they're using basically all these earth tones. Okay. Uh, but it's also kind of vivid for, for earth tones. Yeah. I mean, um, like that blue is really pretty. Right, so it's a it's a vivid blue. Like, and the oranges and the yellows are very vivid. Um, Taking colors from nature. Right, right. That's nice. And if you made those colors, let's say they were more kind of muted, you know, traditional earth tone colors, you know, it would give you a different feel and mm -hmm. just feel a little different. Um, you know, making it's very playful, and their tagline is where soul lives. And it took me, all of us kind of talked about it a little bit. It took us a while to think about that from where James Brown is from. It took me a while to think about that. And then I was like, oh, that's kind of clever. Um, but it's fun and playful. Um, is that, I mean, the making thing is what you're talking about. You're not talking about the photos and stuff. Only well, these are elements that they're are using. They're just showing elements that they're, that they're using to kind of help brand themselves. So that's that's where they're putting their stuff within within their logo. Uh, the city of Egan is in uh, Minnesota, um, and they're basically just using a lot of uh, greens, which it's part of it's a little cool, a little bit more darker green, but then the brighter green kind of makes it pop a little bit. Uh, but it's more monotone to, to the others. Uh, but I think they've done a really good job. They've made it work really well. So back to this. Anybody thoughts? I like the current downtown. <laughs> like which one? The current downtown. You did good. So <laughs> the, the thing that I, and doing stuff like this in my it's like, of course, everything's new and I could do it now, but it, the simpler, the better. We have too many words um, and too many things. How are we going to reproduce it? Right, that's so, one good thing about this one. So maybe it could be a problem. Yeah. That's not what That is something to think about. Although working. I will say in today's day and age, well, for the most part, like you just have to worry about PMS colors and how many PMS colors you could print and that added money. But today's day and age, that's kind of, it's kind of changed. Mm -hmm. 
but you still need for you for a lot of things that you do for parks and recs are on clothing and you need to worry about silk screening so how that you know, how you it comes across it might be a nice logo but when you're wearing it right. so we always you know one of the things that we'll present is, is we always like to present if i could present a logo just in black and white and start there mm -hmm. yeah and so you can prove that this works in a black and white situation, situation but that's just not reality. That never happens. Um, well, so but we're always overall. constantly thinking about that, and it does. You know, whatever you do, it does needs to work. So the making one, you know, it's a clever play on where they place the words, and it kind of represents water a little bit and, and music notes. Um, so if it's just one color, it's still going to have a nice feel to it. So you know, so. Um, so you can, to your point, being busy, we can figure out how we need to, our job is to make sure we tone, you know, tone that down a little bit for those applications where it has to be, yeah. right? Um, you know, surprisingly, it, when you're trying to read something online, okay, and it's quite lettering for somebody, maybe it's my age, but it's difficult for people to read when you, like, you have a picture and then they'll put, tagline in the picture and it's white it's hard to read so black just comes across so much better that's not the case right there but college park is legible so right the college yeah. park's legible but you but can't really read everything the you can't yeah. read on the other thing yeah. and if, but if you look at the blue one with the little it, with the size too yeah but i mean i'm it, as a but I'm not in the industry. Well, so so that so maybe thinking that we're not reversing words out. So like there, you know, so it could be more along the lines of, you know, if it is vacant, you know, vacant is just it's it's not contained in anything. Egan's mm -hmm. not contained in anything. Yeah. Lincoln City here is in one part of it, but then they figured out how to make sure that it's not in another part of it. Um uh, has made sure that they're so the city of Boulair is its own element, right? And then the logo can be its own element. And then you can have, so you can have cars that could just have the logo. And you would know that that's city of Boulair. Or you could just have the wording. And that's another way to make that happen where you just use simple wording, or, you know, a nice tight, clean type that becomes the, you know, part of the brand. And you've got an element that can be part of the brand. And then the two together make the whole yeah. complete brand. Uh, to to um no mind I forgot what I was gonna ask. <laughs> It'll come back. What was I gonna ask? So all right, so back to these colors. So I think we've got we've heard the current downtown. And I like the corporate. Um, and the corporate. I didn't like the blues until I saw that other logo. So I like the blues. The blues are very peaceful, right? I just I don't. I don't know how they would translate, but do we want to? Do we want to be? We're, we're we're corporate, or we so cool, or well, right. Brand. So that's right. So colors. I mean, what do we want to be? So so uh, <laughs> colors play a big part of that. Yeah. So you know some of the things that we've said, you know, we're upscale so and vibrant necessarily aren't necessarily two words that you know colors might be a little bit different between those two. Uh, but all of but progressive so and. Progressive and vibrant go together really well, yeah. or warm and vibrant can go together really well. Um, Mike, what do you think? Overall, I like vibrant out of all of those. Vibrant, cool, is probably my favorite out of those, out of all of those. So, what about the vibrant? Is it just because it just you like that kind of that playful feel to it, or? Yeah, well, I think it's fresh. I think it's kind of the opposite of what it is now. Right. And what I mean is a whole new, good, more, different, moving forward. Do you think that that would have lasting life? Do you think that's important? I mean, I kind of view it as a 10 year thing. You know, that things will change so much in 10 years to be a whole new color of brand, right? You know, <laughs> things would be very different. I mean, that's interesting because that, that is kind of becoming the trend where things, because things can be produced a lot faster now. Right. And things are, changing more rapidly yeah. you know that's also you know the day and age of the internet things just go quicker right um so Rashawn, what do you think i like the vibrant and i like the earth 
I didn't, I was going to pray for it until I saw that make it. So. That just seemed too busy? Yeah. I but but you, I maybe like the fiber. idea of using some vibrant colors, but maybe not as many? No, I like the vibrant. I, was, I, thought, I thought make it was the playful. I thought that was in the oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, I'm sorry. So, so let's I say if it was playful. playful. Right. Over there. So, maybe vibrant. And then I like first ones. The current downtown, I don't, I don't know. That's our downtown? Well, those, so actually, when you look at the, the, the banners, are all those colors. The, the street, the current street banners, are those colors. Um, and it's really just our take on trying to, we were trying to be more vibrant. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so anybody else got any comments on colors? Earth towns. On the earth towns? Yeah. What do you do? Okay, that's a good. That's a good. That's a. That's a valid. That would be point, a Rex. Right? It's like <laughs> elementary school. Yeah. yeah. Right. So <laughs> no, but I like it. Colors, <laughs> okay. Right. So playful, but not too playful, because we want to be taken serious, because that goes back to. Well, right. well, I mean, but you know, the perception. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we're we're trying to. So we're getting close here on time. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about messaging. So, so we're ever changing, evolving, a brand, you know, defining the shape of the future uh, of local culture by anchoring it to the most deeply held values. In your opinion, what is the single most important value for a city to aspire to? So right now, the city has been kind of working on these four values, which I think are really good. So service, respect, um, equity and inclusion, innovation, integrity, and advancement. Um, you know, advancement, that to me feels technology oriented, uh, but that would be good. Like, are we starting, you know, equity and inclusion, kind of what we're talking about, you know, are we trying to one for all? So kind of this, this, you know, if you say the word historic, that kind of on one side of College Park has a different meaning than the other side of the College Park. So, you know, those are things that we need to think about. Uh, integrity, I think that goes back to trying to get people to be more, to look at us as a more respectful way. Um, are there any, you know, values or, you know, aspirational things that you all think of other than kind of, I mean, We've also talked a little bit some of those things too. I like the word progressive. I don't remember who said it, but it, I feel good. Progressive? Yeah, I feel that that's where we're headed. Right, we're aspiring to be a progressive city. Yes, we're, we're not just stuck in the past. Uh -huh. And if I may comment on the historic, I understand exactly what you're saying. Part of the problem, as I see it, being in a historic society, is that the historical society was formed. 70s just because it, it turned out it was a white organization well our black friends set up their own black history month back when it benefit and so they have i mean we have incorporated what was at the city hall somebody actually gave it to us two years ago and so we were able to honor black history month and that's a good thing. I think that the history of our Black residents speaks a lot. I think that it needs to be incorporated into the More history the of College Park. Yeah, it was Cox College. And yeah, I had relatives here. But there are a lot of people here that if we don't all die first, we're, that, that <laughs> grew up here. Mm -hmm. And that when I just, I just feel the need and want to see, I don't know how to do it. Right. I mean, because everybody's so busy and time is of the essence, but we need to recognize that, okay, we wiped out half 
the black residential neighborhood, we also wiped out half of the white because that's where I lived. So I didn't grow up well. But the city was like, and it was going to be raped and pillaged if it hadn't been for the historic designation. Sure, and I mean, sure. that's a fact. Right. So that. Yeah. And, and so I'm just saying, okay, we did that, but we can't take a breath. We are an inclusive city. We have people that we love and we have people we disagree with. But I don't want to let go of the historic because I don't think we told the whole story. Does that sure. make sense? Sure, sure. Okay. Not that I'm right. That's just what <laughs> I'm right. I just, I just feel like there's a, it's like a dangling carcass. Well, I think so. This is something. a challenge. So how do we, you know, so you know, how do we focus on on history? Because I mean, you're right. I mean, there is a lot of history that got us to this point. You don't want to discount it. But at the same time, like. It's not you know, be so, all right, so. and Woodward Academy, like I said, Woodward really supports we got to acknowledge that but it supports the city, but we got to folks. Oh here we go. Um, so here's the message. So again, so all right, so core values, service respect, we were just talking about that. Um, and then the city has the goals. Uh, and again, so after, you know, so from here, I want you all to kind of go around and look at these things. And then we've got some documents there that you can just fill those out. And then I think Christina online will make that available. So if anybody wants to download it, and then they can email it to us, and we'll put that part of Facebook. Um, can you put this on the city website? Because I just stumbled into um, you know the, the, that it was on the Facebook thing. I don't even remember how I found it, but magic. What magic? It was magic. <laughs> but I mean, I just I would because, love to see more people. Well, I would love to see more people here too. So we're you know so we're going to open this up for a while, and we'll keep this discussion open for a while. And again, we want to get city feedback too, and city employee feedback. So again, the same thing. And then we'll wrap this all up, and then we we will present to the city. Um, our findings, and then it, it's going to be up to, to Gerald and the city on how they will then produce that out to the city. But we will we will keep this kind of this Facebook page going, and we'll start adding some stuff to it just to kind of keep the conversation going. Because I, I would have loved to have seen everybody here today, but we know that I mean we've got five or six people online, um, you know, and we've got you know, thank you for everybody who came. Um, but you can put. Right, so that, we can continue that conversation yeah. okay. online and Good. we can get, you know, we can gather more feedback and get this information because we're still continuing our own study. Uh, so anyways, I wanted to go over kind of the goals and objectives the city have right now, which I think are great. Uh, so local economy, quality of life, transportation, transportation and mobility, public safety and security, government, governance and customer service. So I think that we've kind of we've talked a good bit about public safety and security quality of life i think we've talked about a good bit um, local economy you know i think that we're starting to see you know we were we, we've talked about it a lot you know that's uh, the city and you're starting to see the city kind of help bring this stuff together six west is starting to happen i mean you're seeing you know mike mentioned this um, earlier and, and and those of us have been here a long time I mean, when I first moved here, you know, there wasn't really anything downtown. I mean, it just wasn't. There's, and now you're starting, and it's happening quickly. Like these things are really coming together. Um, so, quickly, what I wanted to kind of just get from you on, and it's about time to, to go. But so, are there any other goals and objectives that you, as citizens, would like us to think about? Not necessarily on like the, what the, the city itself is doing, but just goals and objectives that the city as a whole should be doing. So more growth. I mean, obviously we want that. Uh, transportation. So, you know, you said walkability. You know, the more we can, you know, if we start talking about, I'm a firm believer that if you, if you, if you talk enough, it eventually will start to happen. Um, 
you know, I know that Six West, one of the big aspects of it is there's going to be a big walk, walking corridor. There's going to be a bicycle path that's going to be going around. Uh, I've been working on a lot of bicycle uh, path projects that are going to be coming through the area, hopefully. Um, so things like that. So is so when you think of transportation, you know, I think it's more than just we are a good transportation hub because, you know, we've got MARTA, we've got the airport. Um, we're at the intersection of, of two of the major, in, you know, thoroughfares through the city. Um, but I think that's a lot more than that, too. We've got, you know, the walking aspect to it. And, you know, to be able to, you know, hopefully the pedestrian bridge is going to be happening soon. We can be able to walk over to the Gateway Center and eat over there and go to go to a game and watch a show and then come back over here and eat vice versa people can come over here and eat. Um, you know to be able to walk down to Virginia Avenue and go eat in Spawn Divots or um, or or bowl it's Ethiopian you know food. Um, so I think you know so are there any I guess I just wanted to just kind of get if there's any other thoughts that you all Messaging wise, and these would this would be more kind of and this is kind of helping us with a tagline. Um, you know, what you know, live, work, play, those are kind of everybody's kind of saying, you know, it's being said a lot um, because it's meaningful and it's truthful. So, how do we say those things? Um, you know, uh, we've you know, I think we've got some other words in here that we use. That, uh, I had a word on the um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just so messaging is a, is a part of this as well. So I'm just trying to maybe oh, get some progressive. some words from you all. I think progressive has been. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think progressive was online. Thank you online. Thank you online. Um, so that's think about it. And again, you know, we'll keep this kind of this conversation going online. So if there's words that you can think of, you know, put them there. Um, so I mean, that's that's really what we had. Thank you. Um, is there before we go? You know, so open up questions. I think Christina, was there any any questions that were put up online that we need to answer? Okay. Is there any questions from anybody else? Got Thank questions about the, the job, the process? Guys, John. This, this was very informative. It wasn't just spinning my wheels. Well, good. I mean, <laughs> well, Thank you know, you. I hope that that's what, you know, and again, please look at these <laughs> things and walk around and give your feedback. We've got those, you know, the forms up there to fill out. You know, we're kind of looking at these things and we're trying to get kind of little bits of information from you all so that when we present it, it's not like, well, you didn't listen to me at all. You know, the goal is that we did listen. We're trying to, you know, think about what our, you know, what truly is, what does say College Park, both visually and verbally. Um, so with that, has anybody got any questions or final comments from anybody? <laughs> There's not. No, this was going to be the only session. But again, you know, so they're online, please feel free to reach out to us and we'll put the information up there and we'll put this the same document online that people can fill out to get that information. We'll do that for the next couple of weeks while we're circulating all this information and getting the rest of it. Um, so anybody else? Well, I wanna thank you all for coming. Please, again, look around and look at these things and then Thank you all for coming. I Thank truly appreciate you. it. Thank you. Bye online.